now. So what do you think, Craig? Is this thing now dead for sure? Well, it's not for certain because Senate leadership could still have the power if it was so inclined to maneuver this back on track as it has other contentious legislation. But that appears extremely unlikely at this point because doing that is not a priority of Senate leadership. And the Senate sponsors said as much in their statement. The House has already passed the ban on transgender athletes competing in women's sports, but it just stalled in the Senate because the sponsor stalled it herself. Senator Kelly Stargell noted there appears to be enough support to pass this ban in concept, but the House and Senate bills have some differences that still need to be resolved. And in a statement, Stargell noted she needs to focus on working out differences in the state budget instead. She wrote she doesn't know that they'll have sufficient time to revisit her bill to ban transgender female athletes from playing in women's sports in high school and college. And in lawmaker speak, don't know if they'll have time is generally understood to mean it will not advance. No matter how sincerely he believes he's a girl, he's a boy. No amount of hormones or surgery can change that. Supporters of this proposed ban claim students who are born biologically male but identify as in transition to female have an unfair advantage in women's sports. House lawmakers who passed it could not cite any specific examples of that in Florida. We have heard that there are no complaints of an issue in Florida, but we have seen issues in other states. But they said they wanted to prevent the potential of athletes who were born and remain female from being injured by stronger transgender athletes. And they said they wanted to remove any potential incentive for boys to get athletic scholarships by changing their gender. Would any teenage boy go through a trans transition and block puberty just to give himself a leg up in sports or receive a scholarship? I, I definitely think that would be a no. Well, opponents said the NCAA already requires testosterone suppression for transgender athletes in women's sports. They also said a ban would discriminate against some students. State sanctioned bullying. Submit students to invasive genital inspections and damage our economy. It's discriminatory and bad for business and our economy. The NCAA had already warned it could pull events out of Florida if this ban passed. Now those opponents are celebrating the bill's presumed demise this year with variations of this tweet from Senator Janet Cruz, who tweeted, Ding dong, the witch is dead. Rest in peace, transgender bill. Because it certainly looks as if this legislation will expire in committee this year, but it may be a long way from finish because once again, the sponsors will presumably bring it back up next year, which could bring us to another contentious battle over the same issue less than one year from today. So if it had gone through, do you think the governor would have signed it? We know that the governor would have signed it because he said as much. He said that he supported this legislation. He was very clear on that point. However, he did not initially make this one of his top priorities. So the legislature focused on other things. This fell near the end as time is running out. But considering the fact that next year is an election year, if the governor continues to maintain his support for this, bet that this will be back next year. All right. Thanks so much, Craig.